I'm sure you guys have probably heard about all of the weird occurrences with people being banned from Royal High recently. But did you know that this time it happened to a YouTuber and seemingly is happening to more and more people? It's very weird, you guys, and you should see this because honestly, I'm very confused. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell and of course you start could be when buying Robux or Premium. As you guys will no doubt already be aware, there's been so much going on recently in regards to these ban issues. Royal High has already announced some changes they've been making to improve their systems to avoid this happening to anyone else. But it seems that a well-known YouTuber, not only just any YouTuber, but one who is literally known for their trading, has been banned not once but twice from Royal High. You guys this is certainly getting a little bit weird because obviously a lot of people are curious about why these bans have been taking place but check this out. Shion, somebody who many of you guys will know already, recently tweeted and said are you for real right now? Teleport failed, exploitative activity has been found on your account. Your trading privileges have been revoked. Now in case you guys didn't already know, Shion literally only got unbanned as you can see down here two days ago after having been banned once before and the Royal High team unbanned them. Literally after two days of being back in the game, they already got re-banned. As you guys can see, Royal High actually responded to this and said, we have made some overhauls to our systems to help avoid bans being placed that were not intended. But just in case, please do send us an email. We can look into why these keep happening to you. So sorry about this. As you guys can see, Shion actually said, thank you so much for this. And yes, please, I would love to know why the system kept thinking I was exploiting in the training hub so I can avoid doing it in the future. Now, my guess that is that because Shion is a profit trading YouTuber, maybe the system thought that Shion was hacking or something, you guys. Obviously incorrect, but it's very, very weird how this seemingly just keeps happening to them. And this isn't the only time, you guys. There are other people who are also seemingly getting continually banned from the game for similar reasons. As you can see, a weird thing asked, wait, what happened this time? I don't even want to grind levels at this point until the system gets looked at. Obviously, the system being looked at, at has been announced. They have confirmed they are looking at it. But as you can see, Shion said, probably because I bought this nurse one set pieces over and over again, presumably in trades, which is definitely very weird. Also, people have been apparently getting falsely banned for getting levels too fast, giving items away at commissions and even getting trading exploited healers. But even though they haven't actually done any of these things. As you can see, Shion did tweet and say that they have been unbanned and can now access it again. But it's very weird, you guys, that this keeps happening happening. Now obviously you guys there's a very good chance that the reason this is happening is just because these are mainly people who trade so often the system keeps thinking that they're doing something wrong particularly if they're trading a lot for things that are really high value or low value and maybe not giving as much back as they're getting in return. But obviously we already know that the system should be able to recognize genuine players so hopefully these overhauls that they're talking about are going to fix it. But I would personally if I were you still give it a little bit more time before going Going back to normal trading regularly and at least trading high value items just to make sure that there's definitely not going to be any issues with regards to your accounts and to make sure that none of you get banned. Obviously it's not ideal and I really don't want any of you guys to experience these bans if you are in a position where you do trades regularly so do be careful. Now let me know little beans are you somebody who's been affected by these bans? Let me know in the comments down below or do you know someone that has? And also for the help of the people in the community who are experiencing these issues if you have been unbanned before, please let us know in the comments down below what you did, how the Royal High team responded and how they helped you. And just give us some information about the process because I think it would really benefit people who have been banned to learn a little bit more about the process of getting unbanned and learn how long they can expect to be waiting and things like that. Basically, so we can help out our fellow community members. But yeah, you guys, clearly nobody is immune from this system being confused. So do be extra, extra careful just in case because you don't want to get banned from the game just for literally playing and doing almost nothing wrong so yeah you guys make sure you're being extra extra careful thank you so much for watching this video little beans if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like subscribe and click that bell i'll see you all next time and have a great day everyone love you lots goodbye